good morning brothers and sisters. Uh, it's a beautiful day out here. I'm, I'm pretty excited about the Word of God this morning and uh, just really quickly through, uh, through worship this morning and just some quiet time, Holy Spirit's just speaking to me. So I really just want to encourage you today to, uh, to maybe chew on these couple of verses and just see where it leads you. Let's see how we can become stronger together and that we can just usher in the kingdom of God right here in our region. Uh, I keep going back to this verse in Hebrews because it really just speaks to me a lot. And it's uh, Hebrews 11, 1. Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. So what is it that we hope for? Uh, I'd like to think that as believers that we are all hoping to see the kingdom of God here on earth, to see his kingdom restored, uh, to see his will be done on earth as it is in heaven, right? Can I see in the heaven right now? No, but I hope to. You know, I, I have faith to. But I do know that where God is seated, Jesus is seated. And where Jesus is seated, there is no sickness, there is no pain. Uh so through this verse this morning, you know, I'm praying that for my, my faith and my hope to grow in such a way that that it defeats unbelief in my life. Yeah, I can walk into a room and see somebody on crutches. I can walk into a room with somebody with cancer. And I could have the mindset, well, you know, this is just a moment where God is, you know, he's... He's working this out in a way that they're going to be stronger out of this. But also at times I know that the enemy, I know that Satan is working against people and he's bringing afflictions upon their body while he has rule over this earth. That he's going to keep people broken. He's going to keep them fearful, full of anxiety. And I know that that right there is not of God's will. So now faith is being sure of what is hoped for and certain for what we do not see. I am certain that God loves everybody. I am certain that he wants to see his kingdom restored here on earth as it is in heaven. And I am certain that he has called us all to be co-laborers in this. So my word of encouragement this morning is that when you come onto the scene of anything and you're seeing uh, something take place in somebody's body, in their mind, in their spirit that doesn't line up with the word of God and with his kingdom, not loudly, but just in a gentle way, just go place your hands on them. Introduce yourselves. And just go ahead and, and ask, you know, Abba to just move in the way that he wants to. But I think that that's also going to take place that when we are constantly in a, in a position of hearing. Uh, and that's the, the other scripture that's on my heart this morning. It's in Romans. It's Romans chapter 10 verse 17. When Paul was urging to the believers, Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message. And the message is heard through the word of Christ. You know, he didn't say faith, you know, comes through heard. It's through hearing. So every day we need to be in such a relationship with Holy Spirit that we are constantly hearing from him. Some days he's going to tell us where to dig. He's going to tell us where to serve. He's going to tell us who to feed, who to clothe, whatever. You know, even Paul felt like he was supposed to go and take the message to Asia. And God stopped him right there in his tracks. And he had a desire to, what was it, Bithynia? The second time he wanted to leave and go and take a message there, God stopped him. But in his dream that night, he did have a dream of a guy like in Macedonia calling him over and that's where the Lord opened up the door so I want to just encourage you all each day like ask Holy Spirit where am I to go what am I to do in this situation and uh, and don't be afraid to step out and do it you know because we have Holy Spirit feeling us interceding for us and uh, instructing us every single day of our life you know 365 times scripture says fear not so when you walk into a room don't allow unbelief to stop you from praying for someone. Don't allow unbelief to stop you to pray for healing of their mind, of their physical body. Don't allow unbelief 
to bring you to a place of of binding up that spirit that is on that person and definitely don't allow unbelief to bring you to a place to just love people you know as we constantly uh chit chat on here lately we are hidden in christ in god right and god is love and perfect love cast out all fear so my prayer today is that where you go walk in love walk in love listen to people listen to holy spirit if you feel like you're supposed to do something you know, go ahead and quickly just say, you know, Holy Spirit, is this me or is this you? And give Holy Spirit just a second to go. But the moment that Holy Spirit opens up a door for you to love onto someone, to minister to someone, run. Thought I was going to sneeze. So, uh, I just want to encourage you. You know, faith comes by hearing, not just what you've heard. You know, the Holy Spirit is constantly wanting to talk to us and to minister to us. So don't always rely on something that you've heard in the past and allow that to either be your starter stopping point or like a roadblock. You know, run with it. I love you all. Uh, if you have any comments, leave them for me. Uh, if you have anything that you feel like the Lord has put it on your heart that you would like to discuss, leave me a comment. Let's, let's get stronger on this together. I love you guys. God bless you. Have an awesome Saturday.